What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is Warner Bacon Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications, so that you never miss a video, and comment down, down below. Now, today is Black History Day. Hallelujah! Woohoo! -hoo. And today we're going to talk about All Ridge Ira. Ira is I R A. 1805 8 through 1867, birthplace is New York City. Oh. The man with the magical voice. Let's see what he's talking about, shall we? When Ira was, was, was a boy, very few black children dreamed of becoming actors. Black people who lived in the South were still slaves. Those living in northern cities were free. But they had few opportunities to do what they wanted to do. But Ira is not was not discouraged. He had a strong but beautiful voice that would someday become famous unto the world. Hmm. Not bad at all, not bad at all. When Ira was a young man, he joined the Black Theater Group in New York City. During these times, many white people believe that believe that black people should not be allowed to act in plays. Ira Theater was forced to close. This made Ira very angry. It would make me angry too if I had to close my dag on theater. That's crazy. He didn't want to live in the country that would not allow him to develop his talent. He decided to leave the United States and live in Europe. That's the movie probably has made in life. <laughs> For the next 40 years, Ira toured England and other parts of Europe. He performed in many plays and was praised and honored by many kings and princesses. That dude right here was off that chase of vanilla. Okay, that's true. A portrayal of Otello, Otello, in Shakespeare, Shakespeare play made him famous. He became one of the best known actors of his day. He, but he never returned to the United States. And this man right here, the United States wouldn't even play his play. Instead of him getting upset, he moves from the United States to Europe and goes over there and tours over there. They, they accept him with open arms. That's a daggone shame. But wait, there's more. Alrez died on August 7, 1867 while on tour in Lodz, L-O-V-Z, Poland. He was 60 at the time of his death. Alrez had been married twice and left behind several children, including a daughter named Lorena, La, La L-U-R-A-N-A-A, who would in her own right go to become a well-known actress with an opera singer. Wow, she following his footsteps. Wow. His contribution to the to performing arts in in 2014, a secret plague, or a second plague, was unveiled in Poland to honor his memory and legacy. Now, that's what I call being the man. He was the, he was the man. Something different. I hope y'all enjoyed it a little bit. I read. So if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, click on post notifications so you never miss a video. Comment down below, let me know what you think about this video. Until next time, remember when you're too blessed to be stressed, love and happiness at all times. Hug somebody, tell me love, and always do a random act of kindness.